So a couple months back, I built a pet feeding station. I wanted to automate the food dispensing for my dog. But back then, the machine had a few problems that needed fixing. The case wasn't stable enough and the food pellets weren't pushed out properly. Mainly, the stepper motor didn't have enough punch. But now it's time for an upgrade. Version 2.0. The new components. This time I've designed a special custom PCB. We'll also need a stronger motor, a high torque NEMA 17 stepper. We used the A4988 motor driver, an Arduino Nano and a couple of header pins. Okay, so first of all, let's print all of the redesigned components. I'll leave a link to the STL files, code and Gerber files in the description below. Then let's unpack the PCB. I ordered it from PCBWay.com. Quick shout out to them, they're the sponsor of this video. They manufactured this custom PCB and honestly they make it super easy. Just upload your design files, your Gerber files, choose your specs, pick the color and thickness and they'll handle the rest. Fast, reliable and affordable. And it's not just PCBs, they also offer 3D printing, CNC and all sorts of cool prototyping services. So if you're working on a project and want to get rid of the cable mess and build polished prototypes, check out PCBWay.com. Alright, now it's time to assemble this thing. First, we'll add the A4988 motor driver, then the Arduino Nano. Let's also add a tiny heatsink to the motor driver to cool it down. Lastly, we'll add a couple of pins for the motor connection, power and a switch. Then we solder the components on the back side of the PCB. Now we insert the motor into the midsection of the case. Place the holding block behind the motor. Connect it using a 4x1 cable through the hole in the holding block and connect the other end to the PCB. Then put the PCB into the base section of the machine. Now let's attach the screw to the motor shaft. I've also redesigned this part. It's smaller and thicker now to make it more stable. Then we add the food pellet tank and install the dispenser valve. Now we can fill it with some pellets and put on the lid. I'll spare you the details of the codes, but I'll leave a link to it in the description. Just download it, upload it to your Arduino using the IDE and connect the whole system to power. Alright, now it's time to test it and see if it does a better job than the previous version. And of course, we'll see if my dog still enjoys it. Now the dispensing process works way better. And my dog obviously still enjoys it. I'm still not perfectly happy with this project and I'm already thinking about a version 3.0 where I also include a water tank and a Wi-Fi connection to control the feeding times using the Arduino cloud. Let me know what else I should change for the next iteration of this project.